Am I the a-hole for telling my future daughter-in-law that I'm not funding her wedding anymore? Originally I was going to help my son and his girlfriend Sammy 19 f for their wedding by giving them money because they both work at a restaurant for minimum wage. So far my relationship with Sammy was okay, but I noticed she has a habit of buying clothes outside of her means. I see her with those Yves Saint Laurent bags and she wears golden goose sneakers. Wedding dress shopping was a nightmare when she insists on a $10,000 dress while I went with her mother and the bridesmaids. I asked her, doesn't that seem excessive for the small wedding you are having? And she said, since you're paying for the wedding, I can afford the dress I want. Her getting a 10k dress defeats my whole purpose of paying for the wedding because I didn't want my son to be in a boatload of debt. It started as an argument with her mother said something about how her daughter is a princess and I said no, her daughter works at Chili's and doesn't even have a high school education. While my son has been taking classes at community college so he doesn't take out a dreaded student loan, I also pay for that. Everyone was extremely angry with me after that and I told my son that I will no longer support his marriage and I will take the wedding funds for his education but please don't marry Sammy. He hasn't been talking to me saying he loves her and it was really awful of me to withdraw money from the weddings because Sammy and her mom put the down payment to the dress on Sammy's mom credit card. As of right now, I don't want to help with the wedding. I'm not invited if I do not help with paying it. My son is acting stupid about the whole thing and I don't know how to talk some sense in to him without being an even bigger a-hole. Am I the a-hole for not giving money for my son's wedding? After observing his girlfriend's spending habit, here are the top comments, plus OP's reply. Not the a-hole. Don't give them a cent. Why would you do anything to encourage or make getting married easier for a couple of teenagers? The odds of it ending well are not high. I have an 18-year-old. It's way too young. I had that conversation about him finishing his education first, but they insist they want to be married now. I don't know what else to do. Don't do a thing. You can't stop them, obviously. Just be nice and polite, but don't encourage it. Not the a-hole. You have worked hard to teach your son to be financially responsible and he's marrying a child who has zero intention of living within her means. She's been enabled by her mother to believe that someone else is responsible for providing everything she wants. Unfortunately, your son is young and blinded by love. The only thing you can do is continue to invest in him and his education. Talk to him about their short and intermediate plans. How do they plan on supporting themselves? Is he planning to move into her mom's house while he finishes school? Or will he be dropping out of college to earn enough to feed them? You might consider giving him or them a financial planning course and a round of premarital counseling. Money is the second most commonly cited reason for divorce. The first is infidelity and your future daughter-in-law sounds right for cheating with someone who is better off than your son. Not the a-hole. And my favorite response too. My daughter is a princess is now, your daughter works at Chili's. Not the a-hole. It sounds like Sammy is going to lead your son into financial ruin. You can try to educate him now, but I agree with you. It would be dumb to give them money for this wedding. Save it for when they need more important things. Not the a-hole. A teenager working minimum wage should not be getting married and definitely not in a $10,000 dress. This marriage has disaster written all over it.